workplace. Present arguments for why you deserve a raise. Compose a letter of re resignation. Okay. Resignation. Resignation. Okay. okay, so resignation is when you uh, write a letter and you tell your mm. job that you no longer want to work. Right, with. yeah. All right, okay. and then it's important to know how to give opinions at your job and advice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Sure. And everybody wants to make more money, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to talk about why you deserve a raise. Mm -hmm. So a raise means more money. Right. All right, so let's get started. Okay. Meeting the boss, first impressions. Okay, so do you mind reading this page for me? Okay. Help, I will start a new job soon. I'm happy but nervous. How can I put my best foot forward with my new boss? What advice can you give this person? How can a new employee get off on the right foot with his, her new colleagues? Idioms to put your best foot forward. Idiom two to get off on the right foot. Very good. So you're starting a new job. You're happy because you got the job, but you're nervous. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. How can I put my best foot forward with my bo new boss? So this is an idiom. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you know what an idiom is? Uh, how can I um, show my best or how can I uh, do the right thing or try to do the thing best or something like that? I'm not sure. Yes, very good. Uh, idiom is something that sounds like something, but the meaning is something different. It's mm -hmm. kind of like a metaphor. So you're right. I put my best foot forward means I want to do show my best. Mm -hmm. I want them to see only good in me. Mm -hmm. So when you start a new job, this is infor important. You always want to show your best to your boss. Right. So if I was starting a new job, what advice would you give me? Uh, so maybe I would know what kind of job. It's... I am going to be a mechanical engineer. Mechanical engineer, okay. In which company? Um, for Ford Motor Company. Okay, Motor Company. All right. So, I think f because you are going to join a giant corporation so I think there's a must a lot of things to do and a lot of employees you'll meet a lot of colleagues in your workplace so um, I think the first thing is just um, <clears throat> try to do your own job best and um, I think you can try to uh, network with your colleagues ask them about the company culture history you know something you don't know because they used to work there maybe they spend more longer time for you with you so they know the company more than you so maybe you can um, make some good relationship with your colleagues first yeah make some friends there but okay yeah hmm. very good so uh, what you said is true making friends is important mm -hmm. and you said they have been there longer than I have, so they can help me. Yes. Is that what you said? Yes. Yeah, very good. That's very good advice. Um, how can a new employee get off on the right foot? What does that idiom mean? Get off on the right foot. Get off. Oh. No, I don't have any idea about this idiom. Just um, get off on the right foot. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you think it means? Just take a guess. Uh, just like uh, how can you put get off on the right foot? How can I um, do something wrong or? Okay, how can a new employee get off on the right foot? So it's a new employee. 
and they want to get off on the right foot. That means the same thing of put my best foot forward, kind of. Okay. The similar meetings. Ah,、oh, okay. I want to show my best. Ah,、oh, okay. Show them the best. Okay, so a new employee wants to show the best to his colleagues,、mm-hmm. right? Ah,、oh, okay. So these two idioms are mostly the、similar. same, same meaning. Okay. Mm-hmm. Very similar, but how can I do that with my coworkers, with my colleagues? What can I do? Um, I think um, uh, maybe in the beginning we don't have to try to do our best, or we don't have to. Sh- I mean, we have to try our best, but do our best, but don't show off, don't too show off. You know, just like、um, just do some, do the things right, or yeah, do the right thing. Don't have to show off in front of the maybe managers or you know yeah because we are new, we don't know the culture, we don't know the team culture or yeah, so I think we just、Very、do、good. do the do the work, do the things right. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay, so、uh, don't be a show off basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because we don't know.、Why? Um, It depends. I mean, maybe some company the culture is you can show off anytime. But if if you say it's a Ford, it's a huge giant company, it's an old company. So they, I think they their thought or mindset maybe kind of、um, traditional. I don't know. But I, actually, maybe it's not in the Western culture. You can show off yourself. You can you can show yourself. Try your best. But in some Asian culture, even some Chinese culture,、um, yeah, some giant company, some huge company, some old company, their their thought is very traditional. So they they don't want new people to you know show too much. Yeah, maybe people jealous them or yeah or do something bad on their back. You know, just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, and it's very true. Usually, when you try to show off, people they get very angry at you. Like, oh, they they think they're better than me. Yeah. And then you're not making good relationships. Maybe they will、way. not sh- they will not show that in front of you, but they will maybe say something about you in your back. You know? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Talk about you. Yeah. Talk about you. Yeah. So another word for talk about is gossip. Yeah,、you、gossip. Yeah, gossip. I know. Yeah. All right. Very good. So meet the department. A new employee meets his or her new boss. The boss describes the department. He or she talk about responsibilities, department name, team, department head, workload, location. Lunch break, regular meetings. Choose an item and ask another learner about his or her department. For example, where is your department located? Okay. Very good. So you're a new employee. You're also coming to join Ford、mm-hmm. Motor Company. Right. What are some questions that you could ask about、mm. the position or、uh, about the job? So, hi Susan.、Uh, you know I'm just new here, so I'm just wondering、um, how many regular meetings we have every week. Okay, very good. How many regular meetings do we have? Do we have every week? Yeah.、Uh-huh. Hmm. Every week. Okay. Good job. What other question could you ask? Uh, what about our workload? Are we used、okay. to um? Over time, or we can、um, after work on time. <laughs> okay. Okay. So another way would be,、um, what is the workload like?、Oh, what, what, is work- the like? what is the workload like? What is the workload like? It's a simple way of asking what you、mm-hmm. just said. Yeah.、Um, and then what else? What else do you think would be important? Hmm. Do we have?、Uh, how about our lunch break? Is it、uh, fixed time, or we have some, you know, uh, uh, free adjustment? For example, eleven thirty to one thirty, or twelve to two. I don't know. Yeah. Okay.、Um, is our lunch break at a fixed time? 
He's our yeah, very fixer. good. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay, so um, some other questions um, you could ask someone if you were new is, where is your department located? Okay, okay. where is your department located? Or how many team members do we have? How big Very is good. our how big is our team or yeah? Okay, mm. and where do you have a lunch break? Yeah, where's we'll the lunch room? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's or very uh, or we use Uber Uber Eats so <laughs> or we order Uber <laughs> Eats? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that is possible. Yeah. Okay, new project. Okay, the director of a company that makes software for learning foreign languages wants to be in online classes. She meets with her staff. What are some important things to organize? What will they need to start? Which task interests you? Okay, so I'm gonna learn Chinese. Okay. 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 To start the company, you you have this company. Mm -hmm. What are some things you need to organize this new project? Uh, okay, if I want to organize, uh, online learn class. online, uh, online. Just like you are learning English online, right? You want to organize company that is doing something similar. Okay. What are some things you need? What do you What do you think you need? Uh, first of all, I have to think. Um, if I need only online classes with teacher, or I need software. If I need software, of course, I need some um, curriculum based or um, linguistic to design the curriculum. And I need uh, engineers, software engineers to, or app engineers to design the app, to develop the apps. And I also need uh, to recruit uh, the um, people to, uh, to some teacher to generate the uh, lesson plan and I need to recruit teacher to deliver the teaching service. So at, uh, of course I need salespeople, I need the marketing people to promote this brand and sell this, mm -hmm. this language learning program to the market. Yeah, this is all yeah, I those need. Are all, yeah. Those are very important. Also, what about a timeline? Uh, about the timeline, I think um, uh, maybe we can start with um, online face-to-face -face teaching because now we don't have developed the uh, online meeting rooms. We can use Skype or any other like a WebEx tool. So we have tools, and uh, uh, if we need to generate the uh, lesson plan or curriculum. We only need to generate the PPT version first, so it's not very difficult. We just uh, meet. We have like a curriculum team, teaching team. They can generate the topics, the uh, curriculum, and they train the teacher. So I think very good. so we can have like uh, because uh, we have like uh, three months to prepare the curriculum, and in the mean in the meantime we can also hire the teacher. And um, they can start to uh, working on the teaching plan and make some training how to teach the learner. And then we can start the online teaching service after three months. Yeah, maybe in the second or third months, we can start to have some um, social media advertising or Google ad adverts, or we can design our web portal or social media portal. Yeah. So Very I think good. it's like three to six months to prepare, yeah. Yeah, so, very good. So having that timeline, uh, you have a due date for each thing. Yeah. Okay, we have to have right. this done by this time. We have to have something else done by another time. It helps you stay on track with right. uh, your business. Mm. Um, and also the budget is important. Yes, of course. Uh, the budget sure and also go. we need to make sure which target we have to um, focus, for example, focus on kids or adults, yeah. Because we have to design different curriculum. Yeah, 
Also, who are you going to advertise to? Right. So, for people learning Chinese, what kind of people are the are most interested in learning this language? Where do I need to put my advertisement? Mm -hmm. Where will yeah. it be the most most good? Right. Um, have you ever seen the companies, the Chinese companies that have the English teachers? Yes. Yeah, there are uh, a lot of those. There's a lot of companies who provide uh, um, lang uh, e uh, English learning, yes. Um, in Taiwan, are there many? Yes, a lot of. Um, we There are more and more online companies, I mean, online teaching companies. And um, of course, trad in traditional, they are like a cram school. So this is a face to face course. But uh, now there are more and more company they using online tools to provide online teaching service. Even those um, traditional cram schools, they also provide online services. Yeah. Very good. What do you think are the benefits of having online classes rather than face to face, or which one do you think is better? Uh, I prefer online. Because online, I can uh, because if it's a face to face and if it's a class based, I have to um, fix the working time, uh, fix the study time and date. Of course, this is good because I have I, I can get used or I can I can um, free this free up this time and uh, focus on learning. But sometimes, if if it's in the working hour, maybe I will get some um, you know. Um, maybe my colleagues or my boss will <laughs> ask me to do something uh, if it's in the um, off work time maybe it's too late for me and um, so this is why I prefer uh, study online because um, I don't have any I don't have to fix any time and okay, of course, oh, yeah, I have more flexibilities. I can go home first, and uh, you know, have some relax with or or work with or some uh, have dinner with families or play with kids, and then maybe after they sleep, I can start my like my my <laughs> learning before I sleep. Yeah, so it's yeah, it's, it's much easier. Good. Yeah, yeah. I also think having flexibility is important. Because yeah. everybody is busy. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, it, uh, no matter you are using face to face or online, especially online, I still think we need to fix some specific time, and it will make you to get used to you know. Okay, I free up this time, this one hour, dedicate to learn an English or something. I still, I still think we need to. Yeah, push yourself, you know, set up some time or plan on learning, especially on learning, language learning or any learning, yeah. Why? Um, you know, people are lazy because this is online. I can use it anytime, anywhere. So, oh, it's okay. I'm so tired tonight. So let me do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow, oh my god, oh my 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 back hurts. <laughs> so uh, I I have a dinner plan with my friends or family. Let's forget it. Maybe the, the day after tomorrow. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> it can happen. Time yeah. flies. <laughs> it can. That, yeah. That is something that can happen. Yeah. And and then you keep pushing it back and back, and mm. it never happens. Yeah, just like yeah. Uh, we. Um, we joined the health club membership, you know, gym membership. Yeah. <laughs> it's, oh. a, it's a it's also kind of annual fee, you know. It's so, uh, tonight it's I'm too tired. I have dinner plan. I have some. I I have to work or something. So <laughs> that happened to me. I got a membership, and I didn't go for the entire month. I got a month membership. The entire okay. month, I never went. I kept saying, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. And I never went. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah. It can easily happen. That's for sure. So now I just work out at home. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. So you, you, you're you buying some equipment or instruments? Yeah, okay. it's easier. That way I don't have to worry about going right. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes.
Uh. Okay, problems with employees. <clears throat> Do you mind reading this for me, please? Okay. Sometimes the boss meets with an employee to discuss a problem. Here are a few examples of some problems. A poor team player, uncooperative, arriving late to work, frequent absences, talking too much and bothering others, poor work habits. Choose one problem. What can the boss say or do? How do you think the employee will respond? What excuses or reasons do you think she or he will have? <clears throat> okay, I will. Um, maybe I'll try the arriving late to work. Say, hey Susan, I think you are um, this week. You late. I mean, we used to work. Our our working hours from nine to six, or maybe we have some flexibility from nine thirty to 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 six thirty. But you this week, I think you most likely your arriving time is almost ten. So what happened? What's wrong with you? Um, there was a lot of traffic. Mhm. Mm and I couldn't make it on time. Okay. So, but you are working. So, are you moving your house recently, or I know you used to? Are you, I know you used to live in the same place, right? Don't you? It's the same place. Okay, but how come? Uh, in past few years, you don't have any traffic problems, but in this month, I don't know. It just seems like there's more people on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Is it people or no? Maybe you can. <laughs> no, maybe you can say. Oh, you know, there's a uh, um, the government there's... is uh, is a fixed uh, road, so you know. Yes. The <laughs> the there's there's, there's um, there have been accidents every morning. <laughs> or, or maybe, um, yeah, or maybe this employee will say, um, "Oh, hey, come on, I work late every day. I mean, so this is why I, I, I come here later." Or maybe this yeah. is another, another, another excuses. Or maybe he'll say, "Oh, my family got something." Or yeah, some personal problems. Yeah, personal problems. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. And then what would you say? Uh, well, uh, so you have to take care of them in the early morning, or well, if it's true, maybe you can show the the doctor's uh, prescription or doctor's uh, paper. To the company, maybe we can try to adjust your working hour in the recently. Maybe you, if you, if you need to work late, I mean, if you need, to, you have to come to call, call me late. Maybe you can, we can adjust your working hours from like maybe ten to seven or eleven to eight. You know. Yeah, oh, are, you're so nice. You're a nice boss. <laughs> I mean, it, if it's true, <laughs> if you can okay. show the paper, right? Okay, I'll, what is I'll, what if I'm talking too much? I talk, I love talking. I love people. I just get so excited when I'm around people. Okay. And so other people they don't like it. Um, hey Susan, I think uh yeah, you're the colleagues who told me that um you like to talk to them during the work. I think Yeah, I, I, I love my work. Yeah, I know. Um you know, you have good relationship with your coworkers. You are making friends. It's good because we you work like a team, like a family. So you have a good relationship. That that's great. But um, people said that you talk to them too much. You share your information. You ask them questions too much. I mean, Who said that? not only, <laughs> mostly everybody, <laughs> almost your teammates talk about this. So um, um, yeah, maybe we can um, change some work. Uh, I think if you um, maybe from now on, I will give you a new job, new task. You know, we have a lot of uh, training and presentations. So from now, you will be the trainer you will be the presenter for our team to <laughs> introduce and uh, 
train the new employees or train our resellers about new products, new technologies, um, new update functions. Oh, that's Do you like this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, no way I can talk all day. You can talk all day. <laughs> or I can transfer you to the custom service team. You will take a phone call all day and you will answer questions to the clients. You're solving their problems. Right, yeah. you talk to them, you care about them, and you're also solving their problems. Oh. What do you think about it? <laughs> okay, very good. good <laughs> All right, okay, the perfect boss. Yeah, what does this say? Your new boss starts next week, right? Yes, I hope he's better than the previous one, but your current boss seems so nice. Oh, he's nice, but so. In, in indecisive. The, indecisive. He changes his mind and the drop of a hat. Well, mine is just the opposite. He wants to control every little detail. What we need is a happy medium. Uh -huh. Okay, so we have some words. Uh, the first one is idiom. Idiom, yeah. I mean, I mean uh, indecisive. At, indecisive. Yeah, indecisive. So that means you can't make their mind up. Okay, so um, he's always changing, right? Indecisive. Yeah. And this idiom at the drop of a hat means very quickly. So if your your hat drops off, it's so quick. Okay. So he's saying that his boss he changes his mind at the drop one thing to another all the time, very quickly. Okay, I see. Okay. okay. Um, and then the other guy says. He wants to control everything. Every, yeah, every details. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Then there's another saying here, happy medium. What do you think that means? Happy medium is just like, uh, don't control too much. Don't um, change your mind um, so quickly. So maybe in the, in the middle. <laughs> right. Not, not indecisive and not too uh, control. Too controlling. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. All right, so now you come up with your own dialogue with me. Okay. Um, hey, Susan, um, how's your new job and how about your new boss? Oh, I, I am so tired. My boss, he has me working every single day until 8 o'clock at night. I don't know what to do. I really need this job, but I'm just tired all the time. Okay, uh, it's the same as mine. Uh, I think my boss is to control. He wants to control every detail, so he needs me to drop all the reports every day. And of course, you know, we are using uh, we are using some like WhatsApp tools to to uh, work to use to work. So he will use to send some information, or he texts me almost midnight that drives oh. me crazy <laughs> oh my goodness your boss sounds like my boss maybe they're brothers uh, <laughs> or maybe they're twins <laughs> yeah Very what good. if yeah what if we can have some boss you know um he he he, he can he, um, authorize us some something so he can ask us to make some decisions we can do we just follow the timeline and uh, process and we just report to them regularly yeah I think this would be great that's the perfect boss yeah <laughs> I agree <Okay. laughs> yeah too bad that doesn't exist <laughs> the perfect boss doesn't uh, exist. <laughs> yeah I think so Okay, employee evaluation. Do you know what the word evaluation means? Yes, uh, it's like uh, uh, maybe quarterly or annual basis. You have to review your your employee's performance. Right? Very good. Good job. Okay, mm -hmm. so what does it say here? Imagine that it is time to meet with your boss for your yearly performance review. What usually happens at this kind of meeting what questions does the boss ask? What questions does the employees ask? Well, um, it depends on different 
job function. If it's salespeople, well, boss will ask, how's your performance this year? Of course, boss already know. So the salespeople say, okay, I generate how much money it is, uh, or uh, how much, how many percentage grows, or how many percentage um, decrease compared to the last year, or maybe compare with the last whole year or the same quarter last year. So maybe first of all, the number issues for okay. salespeople. And uh, maybe the second question will also ask how many new customers, what is your uh, reorder rate for existing customers? Maybe company has a you know standard reorder rate. And then if it's a grow or decrease and the third how many new customers and how many new leads you generated how many new opportunities you generated and in those opportunities how much money you, you generated so maybe this, this is all number games for okay. salespeople and after those number games the I think the boss will ask um, what's your maybe best practice this year or what's your learning in um, this whole year for example uh, what have you learned well yeah what, what have you learned this year yeah maybe he was sad uh, because I learned um, our new products and the market changes you know because we are we are um, we are a US based company and we are doing the global business Unfortunately, there's a trade war between China and the U.S. So this is why our Asia market or China market decrease a lot because of the um, tax issues or because of... Is that of, true? Uh, for some companies, yes. Oh, okay. For some companies, yes. I didn't yeah. That. For some companies, because the the trade war, so they change their manufacturing from... Like China, they move to other country like Vietnam, Cambodia, or even yeah. some Taiwanese IT company. You know, Taiwanese there's a lot of electronic and IT companies, so they move mm. their their manufacturing line back to the back to Taiwan. So they um, export from Taiwan. No more export from China. You know, because yeah, of tax have, issue. I live in California, and right. we have a lot of people from Taiwan. Here. Yeah. Uh, because There's actually, a lot of tech yeah, companies here. Right. And also we live in California. All right. Uh, my aunt lived in um, San Francisco. Oh, in the, yes. yeah, That's in, an hour for me. Right. <laughs> it's just an hour for you, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So San Francisco has a lot of uh, people who speak Chinese. There's a lot of. Yeah. So if you know a little yeah. Chinese, you, you'll do good. Yeah. They have a, yeah. they have a Chinatown. Yeah, I think uh, I think this I think a couple of hundreds ago, I mean the first immigration from China, um, I think they they are stayed in the Cal mostly they stay in California or San Francisco or LA area. Yeah. Yeah. So we have these uh, plazas, and all of the stores the names are in Chinese. Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> I think I think maybe the the uh, there there's a. The Chinatown is the most big biggest one in, in the US, maybe. Yeah. 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 I think in the, the Chinatown you can speak Cantonese or Cantonese, or, or yeah. Mandarin, you know, or dialects from China. And now yeah. there are more and more um, students or immigrants from um, China mainland, so yeah. And the, the people from Taiwan, you read the traditional Chinese, right? Yes, we use the traditional one, yeah. But you also can read simplified. Uh, I can. I used to work in China, so I learned how to read and spelling and how to write um, simplified, yeah. But mostly it's uh, traditional. Yeah, well, when I back to Taiwan, I have to get used back to use traditional. The traditional is will get a little bit complicated for writing. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen it. There's a lot more lines. Yeah. <laughs> Line. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, simplify it's one is easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So what 
questions does the employee need to ask their boss? What do you think is a good question that an employee could ask their boss? Well, first of all, if they perform as well, they will ask, <clears throat> "Can I get some raise?" <laughs> <laughs> some money, right? Okay, or maybe, "Can I have some?" Maybe if they have facing some problems or 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 issues in the department or with their managers, maybe he'll ask, um, "Can I change the team?" or "Can I change my job functions?" or "What are my preferences?" I think I can doing what better. Yeah, so maybe this is also another question that the employees can ask <clears throat> during this review, kind of review. Or can Very I good. can I have more um, holidays, vacations, you know, <laughs> ask for more benefits or raise yeah. and maybe yeah. some job changes. Yeah. Very good. So usually in America, after a year, at the end of the year, mm -hmm. the company will offer you a raise. It might not be a big raise, it might be a little raise, but mm -hmm. usually after a year, you, you, you're you expected to get a raise if you right. work for a good company. Yeah, or maybe he'll ask how much bonus I can get this year, or maybe stock options, I don't know. <laughs> or you could ask, mm. how, what can I do to improve? Oh, yeah, right, yeah. It's, um, um, think of two good reasons for why you deserve an increase in salary. If you were meeting your boss, what would be two reasons that you would tell him mm -hmm. uh, as to why you deserve a raise? Uh, I think uh, <clears throat> for a salesperson, um, I think uh, because of his um, revenue he generated, maybe grows or improved. And uh, maybe in the same number, but in the hard time, he also can try his best to, to reach the target. So I think this is the one reason to, I think it's a good reason to get raised. And also... Uh, so increasing the profit of the company. Yeah, increasing the profit or revenue, generate more revenue for the company. I mm -hmm. think this is a good reason. The other reason is um, if he's a team leader, he manages the team, <clears throat> the team... Um, they grow <clears throat> in this the whole year. Okay, now, being a good manager. Yeah, being a good manager. Or mm -hmm. if he's a good engineer, maybe he, he develops some new apps or new functions or he find out the very uh, big mistake of existing like a software version. So he fixed something for the company. So it's also, uh, yeah. Very good. Um... Also, if he took some extra classes, if he received training yeah. that other employees don't have, mm -hmm. maybe he could ask for a raise. Yeah, or he maybe had something that right. others don't have. Or he trained a lot of people. You know, he's an internal trainer to train employees. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see. We're, we don't have another running. Is it acceptable? See. In your culture, to ask for a raise is that acceptable in Taiwan? Uh, it's acceptable, it's acceptable. But um, um, usually, um, I think uh, this will talk with manager, but not the big boss. Okay. You know, first just like directly. Over yeah, you. yeah, just like a direct manager. So I would say, hey boss, do you think I can get some raise or something? And the boss will say, okay, I'll try to do, I think you're good, but I'll try. Yeah. I'm not sure if, if the company will accept or not, but I'll try, yes. You're right. It's the same in America. Usually we don't talk to the big, big people. Mm -hmm. We talk to our direct supervisor or right. our direct manager. Yeah. And they evaluate us mm -hmm. and they see if we deserve a raise. Right. And after that, they'll take it to the company. Yes, yes. Yeah. So it's like a, a stream of power. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's true. Okay. When you are asking for a raise, what should you consider? Uh, Before you ask for it, what should you think about? Well, first of all, I have to think if I deserve it. I have to make sure. I have to review myself first, you know, and any questions or challenges or or any um, or any um, doubt uh, from my direct manager. Yeah, I think I have to 
simulate those situations first and then say, okay, I think I can get it. So, yeah, okay, <laughs> I, mean, okay. I think I can ask for it, but I'm not sure if I can get it or not. Yeah, because、yeah. if you, you know you didn't do a good job, maybe if you went to your boss, you wouldn't have so much confidence talking to them. Right. Because you know you didn't do good、yes. <laughs> in so, your job. Yeah, you have to evaluate yourself first and then. Yeah. Very good. I think that's important too. Also, before asking for a raise, it's good to know how to do it. Right. Because if you just go up to your boss and say, I want a raise, That might not be the best approach <laughs> to a manager. <laughs>、yeah. So, thinking about the right time to go to them,、mm-hmm. uh, the right words to use, those are all important when asking for a raise,、mm-hmm. if you ask for a raise.、Okay. I think.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, leaving the company. Okay, imagine that you must resign from your job and leave the company. You must create a letter of resignation. What will you say? Dear someone, I would like to inform you that the reason for this is that my last day of work will be. Thank you for your something. Let me know if I can. I wish you and the company all the best. Okay, <laughs> this is a, a, a okay dear. Okay, okay, dear Susan, I would like to inform you that、uh, I want to、uh, leave the company. The reason for this is that um, because um, I want to start up my small business. I want to be an online dealer to sell in some stuff、okay. uh, on Amazon or Taobao anywhere. Uh, <laughs> and I, based on the company policy,、uh, I have to、um, mention the resignation. I, mean, I have to submit the resignation letter. Um, okay. One month ahead, so I will be. So my last working day will be the maybe、um, no、uh, December second,、mm-hmm. and、um, well, it's really happy to work with you in last past two years, and you you guide me a lot. You makes me improve myself a lot, and we work. We are very. I'm happy to work with you and work for you. So、uh, and thank you for your patience to teach me and guide me and help me to grow to improve myself. And、uh, let me know if I can do anything、uh, besides the、um, hand、uh, handover. So if you do, if anything I can do for you or company, please feel free to let me know. Or even in the after I leave, if you need me, just let me know. Okay, I wish you and the company all the best. Yeah. Excellent. Very nice. That is a very nice resignation letter. <laughs> <laughs> right. So this was the vocabulary in、okay. our lesson today. Yeah. Most of these words you already knew the meaning of. Yeah.、Um, frequent. That just means it happens all the time.、Right. Absenteeism. That means、mm. the, the amount of times you were absent. Absentee. Absentee. Absenteeism. Absenteeism. It's a kind. It's a. It's a kind of.、Uh, um, I get used to absence. Something like this. Yes.、Or? Okay. okay. Like you're saying, how many times that person has has been absent? You can also say absenteeism. Absenteeism. Okay. So、mm-hmm. he get used to absence, or he. Yes. Or you can just phrase it a different、okay. way. That's just another way of saying okay. it. Okay. Um. And the idioms you understood what all of them meant. Yeah,、so、to pre- put your best、smart. foot forward. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Ky, it was、mm. so nice to meet you, and I can say a little Chinese. Wuhan Gaoxing Renshuni. Wow, so you are learning <laughs> Mandarin now. I know some Mandarin.、Mm. <laughs> all right, have a good day. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye.